Well, Jim, um, not maybe the scoreline you wanted at the end of it, but what a start to that match with you, and the team looked really competitive throughout. Yeah, I think I think that was part of the game plan. We know the strengths and weaknesses what we've got, and uh, we try and play to that. And uh, delighted with the goal; it was a fantastic goal. But I think I've got to be disappointed the way we conceded, you know. And um, sometimes you give opponents credit, but when you contribute to your own downfall, it's a bit disappointing. But massive learning curve. I've said that to the players: don't be too down because we won't play opponents that week in week out. And uh, as I said. The opponents certainly punished every mistake we made and we made plenty tonight and that's why we conceded the goals as cheaply as we did. You do have some quality in that team, smart up front and along with good Willie as well. That's going to really trouble defences all season. Yeah, but what's going to trouble me is the lack of protection for David Goodwillie. You know, and, and, and I, I try to, as best you can, protect your players. And um, it's amazing how sometimes, of course I'm biased, of course I've got to look after my own players, but it's amazing how strikers do get fouled. You know, and I was really, really disappointed at the lack of protection for David Goodwillie. And smart, he fights his corner, he's great, you know, he's still very inexperienced at this level. But he's a handful. And David Goodwillie's experience is he's a fabulous footballer and he's he's going about his business really, really well. But I think he needs a wee bit more protection than he's getting. There's also the, the fact that when he was still at two one up, you almost dragged that equaliser back as well. You must have been just a bit off your seat. No, no, I, I'm just disappointed with the new score <laughs> because just the way, just the way football is. Sometimes when you get your chances at this level, you must take them. Um, and there was a great opportunity for Smart to make it two two, and then two minutes later you're three one down, and it just sort of kills it a wee bit. And I think it saps the energy out of the other players as well. So you can see that we got a bit tired, but. Four games in, in his 12 days is quite a tough campaign for part-time clubs, especially when just throwing this team together. But I've got nothing but admiration for them. Massive learning, as I said. I've really enjoyed the cup uh, format. Going to rugby park and doing great for long periods of game, but then getting taught a few lessons. Coming here tonight and doing great for long periods of game, but getting taught a few lessons. And I've just challenged the players now. If we learn from those lessons, then it will stand us in good stead going forward in our only campaign. Thank you so much. Cheers. Well, Ian, 5-1, a uh, beautiful summer's night, a great crowd and a good display. Yeah, it was a great crowd and hopefully they'll keep coming back because I'm not saying they're going to win every game, but we'll, we will score goals. There's a lot of options to score goals and even a lot of young boys are the similar type of player that want to beat people and want to score a goal. So um, we had young Leon Murphy making his debut tonight, young Luke McCowan got on. So it was a really pleasing night and, you know, the level of fitness was, and sharpness was fantastic. The great moves at times, cutting the defence apart there. Now, they were five one. Uh, maybe we could have scored more, but that was a good Clyde team. I, I think Clyde will do well in the division. I think they've got a good manager and uh, their, their strikers are a handful. I signed Goodwill for the D United. Um, they've, they've got good strikers and they are a handful. You know, the first half we had a terrible start. Young David Ferguson made a, a, a poor judgment, poor error. Um, but I've got to say then he's not had games but then he really grew into the game and did well and I was really, really pleased with him. He'll be a good addition to the squad. So yeah, it wasn't a you know, Clyde got two one up against Kilmarnock and you know they beat Dumbarton. So aye, it makes a good result for us, but uh, the score line was comfortable. Could have been the second half it could have been anything because our fitness was sharpness was there to see, I think. Yes, there could have been a lot more goals, but it was lovely to see things like McDade, the determination to get that ball in the middle, to put that ball in for was it his second one there. Um, that was quite outstanding. Yeah, well, listen, great play by Crawford again and, and great movement from Craig Moore off McDade. It was really, really good. And Robbie's just really on fire just now. He had too much time at his second chance. to. I mean, that would have made him top scorer, which is just <laughs> unbelievable. Um, so... I, I, listen, I'm really pleased, but it's just a start. You know, we've got to go to Annan on Saturday and try and win Seymour, Fred Peter, and, and try and win the game.